All right, guys, here it is. We are going to replace the SSD in the MSI Claw. I've got my two terabyte 2230 coin drop custom drive. More on them in another video. So I'm gonna put my 2230 SSD in here and we are gonna replace the one terabyte in here. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I know it's kind of an odd view, but hopefully you can see it better this way. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Phillips head screws to open this up. And they are all the same size. This one here underneath the uh, warranty sticker is the captive screw. So that one doesn't come out. The rest of these do, and they are all the same size unit is really easy to take apart it is one of the good things about it and there are no ribbon cables or anything attaching the back to the front of this now let's take the back off there we go i love how i just said it's super easy and now it's kind of hanging on that's what it looks like with the back off Next thing we have to do is disconnect the battery and pull out the battery. You actually don't need to pull out the battery to replace the SSD, but uh, it gives you more room. So I'll just go ahead and disconnect it from there. The battery has four screws. One, two, three, and four. And then it comes out pretty easy. Again, these screws are all the same size. Not the same size as the other screw for the case, but the same size as each other. Okay. And we'll take this battery out, which is actually pretty large. Look how thick that is. It's a really thick, big battery, which is good. All right, now the SSD is actually underneath uh, this fan. To remove all this though, you need to unscrew both fans. So what we have to do is we have to do these three screws and then this screw down here on each side. So again, Phillips head screws, and we'll pull these out first. It is kind of a bummer that you have to pull the entire heat sink assembly out in order to replace the SSD, but it's not like you're gonna be un under here that often. There we go. One fan disconnected. I just wanna make sure that I'm, there we go, that I'm grabbing the plug and not the part that the plug plugs into. All right, so this whole thing should actually pry off now. There is thermal paste under here, there we go. So that's what was holding on. And now this lifts out. And we have our SSD right here. Here's the one terabyte SSD held in by our little Phillips head screw right there. So we will pull this out. And then we should be able to just lift and slide to get this sucker out. I hope there's no adhesive underneath this or anything. That would be silly if they did that. Yeah, oh, okay, so there's a thermal pad under it. That's why it was sticking. Here, if you look at the bottom of the SSD right there, there's a thermal pad. That's what was sticking to the motherboard right there. I'll probably just put that thermal pad on the new SSD. I actually have other thermal pads, so I can just replace it. So I have the SSD imaged over. Here is my two terabyte coin drop customs drive. Here is my Kioxia one terabyte. I've imaged everything over, it's time to install everything. Just keep in mind that when you're gonna do it, or if you're gonna do it this way, um, or if you're gonna replace your SSD, you do have to put new thermal paste on. I've got some new thermal paste. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit here, not much, just a little dab, like that. Now we can put everything back together. So I put the thermal pad here. It'll heat up and spread out so it doesn't have to look perfect but we will slide our new SSD in. Make sure it is slid all the way in place and seated properly. There we go. And you can tell if it's seated properly, if it lines up with the screw hole right there. And it does. So we will screw it down. There we go. There's our new SSD in place. And now we can put our fans and heat sink back. Boot it up. It should 
do right into Windows. All right, there we go. Now that we are in Windows, you can see that it worked. Let's go ahead, oops, not that. Let's go ahead and check the storage. So I am going to have to extend the C volume, but I will show you guys here that I have the two terabyte in, a little disk management. You can see here's the drive C, here's the extra one terabyte that I've got. I will have to extend this over to take up the full two terabytes. And then we can hopefully copy the BMA drive over here. But anyway, that's how you install and upgrade the SSD on the MSI Claw. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions for how to upgrade the SSD and the MSI Claw. My next video will be a thorough review of the brand new BMA Drive 2.0, two terabyte version. I'm really excited about that, as well as my review of the MSI Claw in general. Stay tuned for that, like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Happy gaming, guys.